Alright guys, we got Cody from Survival Extreme. Today we're going to be talking about a knife that was actually made in Pakistan, manufactured in Pakistan, that I actually found in my garage during a garage cleanout. Um, basically, what I want to talk to you about, about this knife is if you know what kind of knife it is or know about this knife in more detail, like model number, anything like that, you could you let me know in the comments below and I would appreciate it. So here's a knife. Um, first let's talk about the sheath. It's actually made in a fairly poor sheath. Only thing decent about the sheath that I think is pretty neat, it actually has little designs right here. Um, I believe on the back or... Actually, I'm not too sure exactly where on the sheath, but I could have swore it said Pakistan somewhere on it. Um, I can't find it, but once I find it, I'll take a picture and... Actually, I think I found it right here. Yeah, I'll take a, try to take a picture and I'll try to put it in this video. But, yeah, she's poorly made. As you can see, it looks like leather, but it's not really leather. It's more uh, or less cardboard on the inside. Not sure if you guys can see. But, more or less cardboard on the inside. So, but what I wanted to talk about was the knife itself. Um, as you can see, Made in Pakistan. Um, wooden handle. I believe it's full tang, but I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. But what I mainly one thing I want to talk about, to be honest with you, is the blade itself. <clears throat> the blade has this neat, like saw back type of thing, but it's more of a, a war knife, like a um, hand to hand combat type of knife, because this. This, act, this blade right here is actually sharpened to where if it goes in something, and I, I'll demonstrate it on my shirt, just a uh, the de quick demonstration. Once it's once it hooks your shirt, it's hooked. It like it's like hooks to where if that goes in your skin and it hooks inside of you, you are gonna be in a world of pain. But if you have any information about this knife, I would definitely appreciate it to let me know because I'd like to know more about it. And if you want a full review about this knife, let me know and I'll give you as much as I can about it. And I'm really thinking about breaking it down and putting a new handle on it. So let me know if you think I should do that too. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I need, I need subscribers if you want me to keep doing these kind of videos. So, I appreciate everything. Don't forget, don't just survive, survive extreme. See ya.